Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Laika Falabi in the beauty. Welcome to 2023. Thank you for last year. I really appreciate you guys so much. So this year we'll be talking so much about um, biomedical science, how to relocate to the United Kingdom as a biomedical scientist from overseas. I hope you enjoyed my video so far and I hope to do more videos um, to help you guys even in your journey. So, um, I'm actually doing maintenance at the moment, so I will be putting some clips here and there. I hope you enjoy today's video. Welcome back, happy 2023. I'm about to go on a break and I just thought to say hello to you. So yeah, we usually go on break, tea break, then launch before the end of your shift to do that. Um, guys, please, I need your support. I need you guys to please support my channel, share my videos, like my videos, please subscribe. Some of you are, some of you watch my videos, but you're not, you've not yet subscribed. Please subscribe to my channel and please encourage me so that I'll be able to do more videos for you. And um, I see your comments, guys. Thank you so much. Those people that used to comment and um, like my videos, thank you. I trust that I can do more. Okay. Yeah, so I'm all for tea now. Bye, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm still on tea break now. Guys, please, this year, um, those of you that are HCPC registered, I have this advice for you guys. Um, if you feel you've been applying, applying, and you're not getting a positive feedback, maybe you might need to, like, re-strategize. If you're here to, like, um give your applications to people for review you might need to do that if you have done that and it's still not working you might need to still sit back and check if you have really applied all the things people have told you are you sure you are doing the right cpds are you sure you are adding the necessary qualification hope you are not just adding um your ssc your results that are not really relevant to the post are you sure you have used the grammarly app and it's not your your grammar that is the issue are you sure you are truly looking at the person specification and job description for each role. Are you sure you are adding the trust values and you are taking note of the things for like for each advert? You might need to sit back and reevaluate your application yourself. And if you need to like maybe give it to someone to help you review, fine. If they are willing to do that for you, you can go ahead. And if you need to like seek professional um consent if you need to go for professional help i would advise you do it and before the middle of this year you might you you should and you will land a job so hopefully just do what you're supposed to do and tick all the boxes show an interview is around the corner for you guys so guys please i will say it again subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me we have about 400 and something subscribers now i would really love to get to 1k before the end of january and i know it's possible with your help please subscribe to my channel share my videos like my videos let me know the type of videos you like me to shoot please engage with my content don't just watch my videos some of you are watching i've said it before and you've not subscribed please subscribe okay so i hope 2023 is going to be a great year for us i hope i i get to engage with with you guys the more i hope to see some of you who have benefited from this channel if you have benefited from this channel won't get the other please put your comments below so that you can encourage others if through my channel you have gotten an interview invite or something positive just comment below so that other people can be encouraged and please if you are here to do, join the post cpc group if you are registered and you have not joined the group join the group and make use of the group people might not really maybe talk on the group but there are so many tools. Go through the pinned messages. Use the search buttons. One way or the other, someone might have said something in the past and that might be useful to you. So just grab it and make use of it. I hope you guys um have a wonderful 2022. Okay, so I'm actually on tea break, but I'm not taking tea. Don't mind me. I'm just here, just trying to catch up on some things. Hope you guys are truly doing well. I hope to see you guys in the UK very soon. Your dream is valid. I remembered um, 
January 2022. I got registered January 2022, and this is like although I got registered towards the end of January, this is almost like a year post registration. I'm here in the UK. You can also be here like me. Yeah, you can also be here like me. Ah, sorry, my hand is paining me. <laughs> I just feel like let me just do this. You can be here like me. I just want to encourage you guys. Anything that is really wrong, just put it in the comment section. I would see what I can do to help you to the best of my ability. You know, I don't know it all. I'm not the best of the best. See you guys later. Bye. Hello guys. Thank you for watching the vlog so far. Um, today's vlog is basically welcoming you to 2023. And I'm um, just giving you a peep through my day. Not really like how my day used to go all the time. But of course, I'll do maintenance, go on break. I'm sorry I won't be able to like really show you things that we do in the lab except I say it. Okay, so um I've already gave some advice earlier guys. Please try as much as possible to take to those advice and I'm trusting God and believing God that you guys would get your desires and this new year 2023 that particular month you are looking at relocating to the UK. <clears throat> You are definitely going to relocate that month. So, um, I will be ending this vlog most likely with this part. I remember someone asking me this question about how do you know <coughs> if a job or for if a job is going to offer a visa sponsorship, like maybe as you are trying to apply, how do you get to know? So, I'm going to like do a screen record to show you. But most NHS jobs, to the best of my knowledge, would have it written in in the job application site that they would offer sponsorship so it's now left to them to offer it or not so guys thank you so much for for watching my video today thank you for coming back to my channel thank you for for seeing the positive vibe in my channel guys please i'll say this once again if there's anything you really like me to talk about on this channel please feel free to drop it in the comment section thank you so um i think i would go straight and record do a screen record to show you what um to show you how it's going to look like or to let you see a job advert an example of a job advert where they um they are going to offer COS. Thank you for watching. So guys, you can go on Google. If you are using NHS jobs, for example, you go on Google and type NHS jobs. Then let's go to search jobs. Um, sorry, please. Okay, so you can search jobs by type or by city as this way. But because most of my um, viewers are probably watching from overseas, I think we should just, we can just do biomedical science. But you can search for jobs whichever way. You don't have to like do it this way. And you can use filters. But because you are actually searching from overseas, I feel like you might not necessarily use the filter. Just flip through. You can see. If you are using filter, you can filter by salary. But what's the point? You can filter by staff group, the pay band. In fact, you can do use this filter anyways. Just filter 5 and 6 because, of course, you can apply for band 5 and 6 roles. And you can even try 7 and 8. It depends on your qualifications, right? So... Then you can look for permanent jobs. Of course, mostly you should go for permanent jobs. But I've seen people, I've met people who, who came into the UK on fixed term. So, fine. So that was why I said you then working part-time. I've seen someone who got into the UK on a part-time role. So, you might not necessarily use the filters. So, just look out for the role you are interested in. This is a specialist um, biomedical scientist. In hematology, most likely this might be a band six rule. Mm. So you can also, instead of doing biomedical science, you can also search for healthcare science. You might see rules under that, like sometimes they interchange the word 
they sometimes put biomedical science on that use case science. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's go for these. Yeah. So sometimes you see some rows where they kind of slash the duty. Um, like the one that I clicked on. You see, I think biomedical scientist slash. Okay, so biomedical scientist slash specialist biomedical scientist. So this it means the role is either for a band five or a band six. So I think that's what they mean. So okay. You can see the details of the job, working pattern and all of that, the location of the job. So guys, you know I used to talk about reading <coughs> the job description of each role and the person specification. So this 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 is the job description in like in summary, and these are one of the qualifications. ECP is registered with IBMS accredited accredited honors degree. Sometimes you might see some qualification. If you don't even have it, you can try and prove that maybe you have an equivalent. You see, they said with IBMS accredited honors degree or equivalent. So, like for people who did um, biomedical science or medical laboratory science like from nigeria now what we call this is medical laboratory science your medical laboratory science degree is an equivalent of a biomedical science degree with ibms accreditation you understand so don't go and see this and be confused note that this is different from see now under desirable they said specialist diploma is different from an ibms specialist portfolio Okay, but if they say IBMS registration portfolio, yeah, that's just the basic qualification and your BMLS is like equivalent to that. But if they say specialist portfolio, if, if it is an essential criteria, <laughs> you know that, okay, that's what they, um, like, that's what they want. And you can give it a try, but don't feel too bad about it. You get what I mean. But in this case, it's a desirable criteria, but not an essential criteria. That means if you have it, fine. If you don't have it, fine. Look at the skills and knowledge. So all these things, try to add it to your write-up. Ability to follow protocols accurately. Like, that means ability to, like, understand the standard operating procedures and follow it. Follow it. Computer literacy. You are good in the use of... um. Microsoft Word, Excel, and all of that, aware of confidentiality issues and all of that, post-registration experience. Just find a way of proving all of this. Look at all the criteria here. So now, for that person that asked me, like, how you, you know, if you scroll down. Now, I understand that um, the way the job application looks is different in each site, but I'm sure if you scroll down somewhere, somewhere, you are going to see where they are going to give you details if the job is offering COS or not. So applications from job seekers will require current skilled worker sponsorship to work in the UK are welcome. So like I said, most NHS jobs would have this in the application. Hope you understand this, guys. Yeah, they will have this. So ensure that you go through the application correctly. Okay, they say it's a band five rule. But this salary I'm saying is, is that you can see Salary is between this to this a year per annum, depending on the grade offered. So even though they've not written a band six year, but look looking at the title of the role, it depends on the grade they are the because band five is not up to forty thousand five 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 eight eight per annum. It's not up to that. So this salary scale is covering both band five and six together. So it depends on the grade they offer you. Then it's a contract job and all of that. So these are the supporting documents. I'm just trying to like, for people that have not watched my previous videos on how to like apply and all of that. So just go and reach through. In the supporting do document, you get to know more about the trust. Then you get to like see your responsibilities and your roles. You can actually use all of these things to like tweak your application. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. That's why it's good to like read each um, advert. Try to like read each one. So you see something there that will make your application outstanding. Thank you guys for watching today's video. 
um i hope you enjoyed today's video and i look forward to seeing you in my next one for now it's a bye from your girl lying careful bye thank you for watching